you have deeply studied the South African culture, history and politics. Do you think uh, that internet could foster the literacy process in, uh, in Africa continent? Yes, I think that um, getting the internet to Africa is essential for African development. Mm -hmm. Africa at the moment suffers uh, from a lack of internet connections and also very expensive yeah. bandwidth. And I think for development purposes, getting the internet into Africa is essential. Very essential. Okay. The second question is, uh, in which way could the internet contribute to uh, archaeology and anthropology that apparently are uh, subject so far away from, uh, from internet and from the web, in your opinion, of course? I think um, archaeology and anthropology are of great interest to tens of thousands of people. So I think getting the results of archaeological research onto the internet meets a need that people have to understand their whole history. So for example, the whole world is fascinated by the archaeology of Italy. Everybody wants to know about it. It's, it's full of very rich images, pictures, all mm -hmm. sorts of other things. Putting that on the internet so everybody in the world can look at the history of Italy is a real contribution to world culture. Okay, and I think also for the African archaeology, African um, uh, history, it's very important because it's not so well known. Maybe uh, internet and the web could um, uh, develop this uh, culture, this uh, knowledge about this kind of uh, archaeology. Yes, I agree. I think that there are wonderful things that people don't get access to. And of course, the thing about the Internet these days is we can, we can uh, distribute graphics, images, videos, uh, live 3D models that give people an opportunity to see what's happening. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.